The Jaguar XF is one of the oldest models in the company's lineup, and despite its history, the XF has always been a marginal player in this segment. Redesigned for 2016, this sedan is vying for the shopping attention of fans of the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series, and Mercedes E-Class. While the XF hasn't taken a huge design departure from the previous generation, it now features a new lighter aluminum body, and that lighter weight gives it quicker reflexes on the road. While some rival brands like BMW have lost their driving mojo, the XF feels lively on the road, and bumpier roads are masked by a smooth ride. The 3-liter supercharged V6 is rated at 340 horsepower and powers through corners with ease. A sportier XFS will be getting a 380 horsepower variation of this engine. Inside, drivers will find the front seats well-shaped, comfortable, and supportive, even for longer trips. However, the cockpit overall falls short of expectations. It's well-crafted with details like double stitching in the leather, but it lacks the elegance you'd expect from a Jaguar. The in-control infotainment system controls audio, phone, and navigation functions. It's a far reach to the screen, and even straightforward tasks like turning on the heated seats take too many steps. Our car includes a vision package, which brings blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic headlights. But for $66,586, our XF doesn't even have forward collision warning because it isn't available on the Prestige trim. It's a glaring omission as it's available on cars we own that cost far less. So our first impressions of the XF leave us wanting more. Its suspension and steering are expertly executed, but the missing interior ambiance, cumbersome infotainment system, and questionable value don't stack up well against strong competition. For more on luxury sedans, check out consumerreports.org.